Hi, I am Nick D. Clements, and if you saw my previous video on using baking soda to neutralize sticky stuff, it might not come as much of a surprise to you that baking soda is also very good at neutralizing another very sticky substance, CA glue, or otherwise super glue. Not only will baking soda stop CA glue from being sticky, it will completely cure it almost instantly. Basically turning it into a very hard and rigid plastic. So something like this parts organizer with this broken lid, we can actually fill in and repair that missing chunk with baking soda and super glue. The first step is to sand and scuff up the plastic. This will give the glue a lot more surface area to grab onto, so it'll be less likely to just chip right off. I'm even making some gouges into the edge with a knife just to give the glue more places to seep into and hold on. My next step is putting some foil tape on one side of the lid. This will contort to the shape of the lid. And then I can start sprinkling some baking soda onto it, filling out that void. And now that it's all filled in with baking soda, I can douse it in super glue. Now one important thing to note here, this is going to work best with a very liquid super glue. If you use a glue that is too thick, it's just going to cure the moment it hits the surface of the baking soda, and you're just going to end up with a bunch of little super glue balls. However, if all you have is thick super glue, you can of course try putting down the super glue first and then sprinkling the baking soda on top of it. But trying that again with some Starbond liquid CA glue, you can see that it's liquid enough to seep into and dissolve the baking soda before it begins to cure. And if you look closely, you can actually see vapors coming off the mixture as it gets incredibly hot when this chemical reaction takes place. But in no time at all, it is cured and I can begin refining it to make it look a little bit better. First, I cut off some of the edges with a knife, removing some of the thicker portions with a cutoff wheel on my Dremel, swapping that out for a sanding bit to further refine the shape, trying to recreate those original curves as best I can. And there is our repair. And with a little cleanup, it looks pretty good. And it is most certainly functional. But my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nicky Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for dangerous fumes. Be sure to wear a vapor mask and be in a well-ventilated area whenever you're using CA glue, especially if you're accelerating it with baking soda. But anyway, I'm off to make something else. So I got to wondering, could you make a casting with baking soda and super glue? Well, kind of. I think one of the main issues is that it gets so hot, it might actually be melting my silicone. So it's actually sticking to the silicone mold, which really nothing is supposed to stick to silicone. I tried spraying some mold release and that worked a little bit better. And while it is certainly capable of capturing really fine details, and it makes for an extremely hard and rigid casting, it really can't compare to something casted with proper materials. But it was certainly a neat experiment. And I suppose with a specific casting, or maybe in a pinch, it's certainly a hack. <laughs>